Okay, now I'm going to show you how I hook up my car to my hitch on my RV. I need these two pins, which will fit into little things in the car. I have a all-terrain Falcon hitch. Well, I'm off on another adventure, calling this Desert 2024. Just me and Snickers. Okay, Snickers, here we go. We go bye-bye. Good morning, crafties. Today is Monday, February the 12th, 2024. I'm getting ready to leave Katie's in Temecula and head to Barstow. I have a bit of a dilemma. I have to do some shuffling of vehicles. I'm going to attempt to video this. We'll see what happens. So I want to show you what I have first. I parked in her driveway. My RV is in her driveway. It is at a slope, so I did not sleep in the RV. But she allowed me to plug in to keep my refrigerator on. She lives in a cul-de-sac. So people can park their cars right at the end of the cul-de-sac. There is my car, and I am parked behind my RV. My plan is to move my car and back it up behind her RV her son usually parks there, but he has moved his vehicle to another part of the street. So I'm going to first take my car, turn it around, and back it up to behind her RV. That's number one. Then I will have to back my RV out into the street and turn it around, make a U2. U make a u-turn and then back it up close to my car but i don't have to be real close because i can use the car to pull up to the rv so i'm going to do this i'm trying to video this by myself we'll see what happens if you're worried about snickers he's in the house all safe and sound katie is now here with me and she's going to kind of help me get the rv out turned around and my car hooked up I'm going to hand her the phone so she can video for me. car and there's her RV so my car is a little bit over closer to the uh, neighbors I might even back it up a little bit so I bump the curb I got my car moved I backed it up a little bit past her RV we got a whole bunch of people coming in here because they're dropping off their kids at school so I may be in a bind it looks like a number of people are dropping off their kids at the school at the end of the road and they use the cul-de-sac to turn around. So I am going to leave things where they are for the moment until everybody gets to school.
I'm going to show you how I hook up my car to my hitch on my RV. I need these two pins, which will fit into little things in the car. I have a all-terrain Falcon hitch. This blue one is my electrical cord, and this pink one is my breakaway. In California, you have to have that. Some other states you don't, but in California you do. You gotta get this untangled. Okay, first I gotta bring the hitch up, and it locks under here, so unlock that, and put it down, and then unlock these tow cables. Now, open this up. Drop my glasses, these, so that these pull out a little more. All right. So the hitch is down, the things are unlocked. I can pull these bars out or in as much as I need to. And now I need to bring the car up so it's closer. Okay. I'm going to use one of these pins. Bring this up. And this also turns, and my glasses fall down again, it fits in there, and then this comes from the outside in, this pin goes through this hole, got to get it lined up, and there, and then I hook this cable onto that. The electrical, I bring it over the top and hook it up under here. Push it in. And then that top holds it. And I pull on it to make sure it's not going to come out. And then this breakaway cable goes underneath. And hooks into here. Okay. And then I put this in here again and use this other pin. And do the same thing as the other side. What's, what's the purpose of the breakaway cable? If something happens and it comes undone, the breakaway cable will turn on the brake of the car. There's a brake in the car that co coordinates with the brake system and the lighting system of the RV. Uh -huh. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six. That's good. So I'm on all hooked up. Now I'm 72 years old. I am a little out of breath, <laughs> but it's not that hard. Yes, you do have to think about what you're doing and do it every time the same way so that you don't miss a step. Now, what I have to do with my car, because it is an automatic, it's a 2013 Honda CRV, and you can flat tow any Honda CRV if it's 2014 or older, automatic, but you have to go through a little system with the transmission. Once I turn the car back on, I go and touch every gear up and down to neutral. Then I let the engine run for three minutes. And I use a little timer so that the fluids go through the transmission. After the three minutes, I have a little button that says tow or drive. I put it in tow, which disconnects the radio and that. But I also have a trickle charger on this, 
that's connected through the wiring. Because of, in the first couple of times, I ran out of battery. So now I have a trickle charger that trickle charges from the RV into that, and I have had no issues with dead battery since. And then I put it in auxiliary. I turned the key to auxiliary. So things are still going, but the engine isn't going. And the other problem with that is you can't lock the car when it's that way, in neutral and auxiliary. The rules are you're not supposed to drive it more than three hours or 300 miles without stopping, re turning the car off, restarting, and going through the system. Believe me, I don't go three hours. I have to go no more than two. <laughs> and if I stop at a gas station, it's okay. But if I stop for lunch and to take a break, I turn the car off. And then before I go again, I turn it back on, go through that system. Any questions about my towing gears or setup, please put them in the comments. Last year I did a four month uh, trip all the way to Maine and back, had no issues. So, thank you for watching. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up, smash that bell, comment, share, and subscribe. Stay crafty, smart, creative, and safe when getting ready to tow your car. Stickers and I made it to the Barstow Calico KOA. Uh, this is like my fourth, fifth time here. I like this uh, KOA. It's not too expensive and I get extra points because I stay here a lot. I use my KOA. I just have water and electric. That's all I need right now. There is a dump station, but I'm only going to be here one night. And then I will be going to two different harvest hosts. So stay tuned for that. Thanks for watching.